Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners and in this video we will see how we can use MV command in Linux. So let's get started. I will just press Ctrl Alt T to open my terminal and you can see on my desktop I have a directory and a file, right? So first of all I will browse to my directory using cd command and press enter and I can ls here and I can see I have directory 1 and file 1. Now to use mv command we have uh, this uh, option so you use mv command with some uh, options and then you have uh, a source and then a destination okay. So first you use mv uh, as a command then you can use uh, options like minus uh, v or minus uh, i or minus f then comes your source file it can be one or many files or directories and then comes the destination file or directory okay so let's see how we can use it so first of all i have this file one and i want to use mv command to change the name of uh, this file for example so i will just use mv and then uh, the name of the file and then i will just give uh, some other name to the file for example file2.txt okay and press enter and you will see here this file becomes uh, file2 okay and the content of the file will remain the same so i can use cat cat command to uh, you know display the content of the file so just use cat and I have this uh, you know content in my file 1 which is also transferred to the file 2 now for example I want to create a new file and move the content of file 2 to file uh, you know 3 for example and I want to just uh, you know transfer all the content of file 2 to file 3 so I can just use mv and then file 2 which is a source and then I can uh, just write file uh, 3.txt here and press enter and you will observe here that file 2 is gone now and file 3 is created and the content of the file we can check is the same as file 2 because it has uh, changed the name of the file and moved the content of the file to file 3 so if the file doesn't really exist then it's going to create the file the simple you know formula of this now for example i want to move uh, this file 3 to directory 1 i can just use mv and then uh, the file name and then my directory name right now for example i will just open this directory and you can see here file 2 is already there and I'm going to transfer file 3 also there right so I will just um, press enter mv and the file name and the destination name and then I will ls directory 1 and let's see the content of it and you can see now it has file 2 and file 3 both okay so in this way you can uh, transfer the file or move the file to a directory using the move command okay now for example uh, I will create a new file for example file 3 once again so I will just say file 3.txt and this is a new file I want to create on the desktop and the content for example will be some random text here okay and I will just press ctrl D to end the file so this is file 3 and I want to move this file to directory 1 which already have file 3 so let's see what happens now this uh, file 3 new file contains random text and the old file which is in the directory 3 contains uh, this kind of text I can show you this kind of text right so now what I want is I want to transfer this file 3 to the directory 1 so I can just use mv and then I can use the name of the file and once again what I have done is I've given the destination name which is directory 1 right now let me open the directory 1 and we will see what happens 
and the result of it so I will just press enter and it will move the content of uh, file 3 which is on the desktop to the directory 1 and what happens here is it will overwrite so the file 3 which was there on the desktop is you know overwritten and this file in the directory 1 is overwritten by the desktop file 3 okay so I can just uh, cat there one file three for example and the content will be the random uh, content which we have given which is the new file three which we have created right so if you want to uh, you know move the file which already exists then it will overwrite the file okay so for example once again let's uh, see an example but this time what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know uh, do it with the some command so first of all I will create once again file 3 and this time I will once again give some random text here and press ctrl D and this time instead of using uh, this command like this I will use a flag I and flag I or minus I stands for interactive mode so it will ask you if you want to overwrite the file which was uh, already present in the directory one with the same name so I'm going to just press enter and you can see it will ask me if I want to overwrite and when I press Y and press enter is going to overwrite the file or if I press uh, N and press enter it's not going to overwrite uh, the file which was already there in directory 1 right so I will press N and it will not overwrite okay let me clear the terminal now let's create a directory okay so what I'm going to do is I will just use mkdir command which we have learned in the previous video and I will create a directory 2 for example oops the command was wrong it was mkdir not makdir okay and it's going to create this uh, directory 2 right now uh, for example I want to uh, transfer the directory inside the directory 2 so for example I want to transfer the directory 1 inside directory 2 I can use the move command so I can just write uh, directory 1 mv directory 1 which is my source and I want to move it inside directory 2 so I can just write the destination name which is directory 2 and by the way directory 2 is right now empty you can see there is no content inside this and when I press uh, this command and press enter it's going to move directory 1 inside directory 2 so we can just ls inside directory 2 and you can see directory 1 is there and inside directory 1 there was uh, some file right so I can just write directory 1 uh, directory 2 and inside that I have directory 1 and I can ls the you know files inside the directory 1 like this and you can see the content is also moved with the directory okay so you can uh, you know move the directory and its content using mv command also now let's see what happens when uh, the directory which we uh, you know want to move this directory to doesn't really exist right so I will just use mv and I will just write directory 2 and I will I want to create a new directory and move the content to uh, this directory tree right so when you do this press enter the name of the directory is changed and content is moved to this directory 3 and the directory 2 is uh, you know disappearing right so if the directory doesn't exist it's going to create a directory and then move the content of uh, the directory inside directory 3 so it will not move the directory 2 inside directory 3 but the content of directory 2 inside directory 3 so you can see there is no directory inside directory 3 it's going to create the directory and you can say it's like renaming the directory if the directory doesn't really exist and if the directory already exists then it's going to transfer directory 2 inside directory 3 okay 
so i hope you understood the, the this basic concept uh, which i want to convey here right now there are uh, many command which we uh, you know can use for example mv minus v for uh, verbose and for example once again i want to uh, transfer uh, the file 3 to uh, the directory so i will just give the directory name and press enter and it gives you uh, you know the you know explanation what this command has done so it has moved this file 3 to the directory 3 right and it, it has overwritten this thing right and there are many commands and uh, this command you can uh, you know know by using this uh, command which say which is man and then mv command okay so just write man and mv and it's going to give you the whole uh, you know description of using mv command right so you can use uh, minus b with mv command or minus f with mv command i we have already seen and these are uh, the description of uh, all the flags and uh, you know options you have with mv command so just use this and uh, you know read these uh, descriptions and you will be good to go so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now